Yep, we are missing ourselves a map. <laughs> or part of a map. How you going guys? Welcome back. This is Storm and this is episode 62 of my single player Tim in the World. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. Um, yeah, so I just realised three quarters of my map here is missing. <laughs> so, no idea what's going on there. I'm not saying it's aliens, but definitely aliens. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't see the map in the water here, I don't see the item frames around. I have no idea how this happened, or when this happened. But yeah, the map is gone. <laughs> and I decided to just go around the island here, just seeing if there was anything else strange or out of place. And I didn't really see anything else missing, but I did realise that I still haven't patched up or tidied up this area. Uh, since we had the creeper explosion a few episodes ago, I just uh, did the basic repairs here. I think this, this thing still works. Just got a bunch of pistons underneath. Um, yeah, so I haven't really tidied this up. I need to do that. And I also haven't put in this pathway up here yet. This is something that I've been meaning to do uh, since we just worked on these farming areas here just in the last couple of episodes. And I want to show it some justice by putting in the uh, the road or the, the pathway around here and probably bend it around this way with two box wide or something. So that's what I want to do. Um, so I might do that to start off the episode. I'm going to... Um, Probably just go around and do some basic repairs and yeah, just make the place a little bit more tidy, a little bit neater. I'll have to go around and remap part of the island as well because, yep, no idea where these maps have gone. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys um, the changes. There probably won't be too many major changes, but uh, you never know. So I'll see you guys in a sec. And we are back. So hopefully you guys like that little sweet transition there. And I have worked on this area a fair bit since the last cut. I do have the map here now complete. It's really good to have an overarching view of your where you're building. So you can see there's still plenty of room to expand and uh, build different things. So really happy with that. Got this little island here that I haven't been over and visited for a while. I don't know if you all you guys have seen this little island that I made over here. Um, but yeah, let's check out a few of the changes, shall we? So this area is a little bit different. Made this pathway come up and extend through here, so it kind of joins up with this other path. I do like this transition, makes this area a little bit more inviting and a little bit more uh, common sense in terms of travel anyway, where you can walk straight through now. Also changed up the flooring and uh, these these walls just here, it makes it look a little bit nicer. Uh, this area is just a few little tweaks and changes, mainly putting in different shrubbery around the place, but uh, you know, try and make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, what else did we do? We also worked on um, this area down here. So this is something that, whoops, <laughs> I just harvested our nether wart. <laughs> so as you can see, I've moved the farm over here now. Where is my nether wart? Here we go. So let's replant this. As you can see, you can just um, uh, harvest the crop by just jumping on this pressure plate. And this area here is all different, all nice and neat. Really like the way this has turned out with this tree here as well and just a little bit of shrubbery here. I could probably put something here if something got added to the game. There is a little space here, but I really like how it looks at the moment, and I like the views that you get when you run down this little pathway. This is now two blocks wide, and it kind of blends up with this other pathway I have going up here, and uh, I think this is another good way to start extending the pathway around to other parts of the island, so in that kind of direction. Um, we've got paths now going around our farms. Well, I've started to, to work on that. I haven't quite finished it, I'll leave this one going uh, one block wide, but I like having this one come around in two blocks and it kind of bends around and starts going down in this direction. And um, yeah, pretty happy the way that looks. So there you go, there's the current progress. What else have we done? I think there's a few things that I've changed down this direction, so let's just cruise on this way. Fireworks going off, I think. So what else did I do? I think there was, oh, this guy, huh, this guy's new. You guys haven't seen him, he is our scarecrow, he's staring at you when you come up this path just here. I really like the way he looks um, when you're cruising up this direction. But also just seeing him in the middle of the wheat there when you come from any direction really along these paths. I really like the way it looks. I think it adds a bit of character and um, just something different just there. Also did change a few things around the front of our blacksmith building, just putting in a couple of trees and working on the entrance way. Really happy the way this place has turned out. Looks nice and inviting, and we've still got our little secret entrance way to get in down to the bottom here. Whoop! <laughs> Damn guy almost killed me. So yeah, that area is all nice and neat now. What else did we do? I think there's a few things changed down here. Oh, that's right. I did change this pathway um, a fair bit. 
It was a little bit crammed and smooshed in the corner here before when this path came down. It kind of wrapped around this tree, so that's how um, how much less room I had to work with. It kind of bent around pretty harsh and then kind of joined up with the path down here. So I've changed a few things, changed the path, broken it up, uh, changed basically the different widths, put in this tree, or I just moved over this tree a couple of blocks. And it's just those kind of little tweaks and changes that you can make to your world that um, can make a big difference. So while I've been working on little tweaks and changes around the place, there is one area that I remembered been meaning to work on, and that's in here. And I thought, uh, rather than just doing it off camera, I'll just show you guys what I planned to do. So I'm really happy with this area, this enchanting, this uh, basically just a glorified enchanting room. Uh, you do get the full 30 levels by using this enchantment table. But it's these walls, these parts on the side, I never quite finished them. I think they're, they just look quite... just. Yeah, just not finished. <laughs> so I've brought down a couple of paintings. I'm going to try and uh, put in one of the larger paintings in the background. I think that could make it look nice to kind of fill up the, the stone side of the wall and it's just not a big plain area. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger probably. And I've also wanted to put this um, this kind of pillar and make it go all the way around. So I want to put replace this with stone bricks up the top. So we're going to do that as well. And then we're going to try and put in one of these large paintings. And um, yeah, it's just little stuff like this that I like to do. Um, to keep things interesting. So let's make, where's my, why my odd one out? There we go. Let's make a few of these stone bricks. Here we go. And let's throw that in up the top. Oh, and I can't place all the bl uh, blicks, all the blocks. <laughs> there we go. And what are we going to do here? How are we going to make this blend in? Probably need to extend this up or something. Maybe something like that. How does that look? Can't have the dirt st uh, showing. Got to replace that. There we go. Let's just take a step back. Let's see if that's going to be big enough space. I think so. I think that could look okay. Can't really see it from this other angle. So let's see what size painting we can fit in here. Not exactly sure, but um, we'll give it a go. Um, I'm not sure what's the best try and spot to try and place them. Maybe in the middle here. Something like this. Paintings are flying everywhere, except into my inventory. <laughs> Come on, where are they? There we go. The soul sand is killing me. It's so slow. Okay, whoa! Do I want it to go all the way down to the nether wart? That's the question. Not bad, though. I kind of think it should go up a block. Maybe we should do that. So let's... I like the, the overall look, though. <laughs> um, certainly doesn't make it look as plain anymore. So where did it, did I pick up, the, no I haven't picked up, there it is. <laughs> so where is this painting? Okay, so I have to make this taller. So let's do that, which means I'll probably have to take this uh, line of stone out. So let's replace this as well. I can reach it. There we go. It's these little things that bug me, I'm sure no one would ever see it, but um, yeah, I'll see it. <laughs> so there we go. That's a little bit better of a kind of arch or something. So let's try and put down these paintings again. And I totally didn't pick that up just then. I think I was placing it there before. So let's go up one more and we'll try and place it a block higher. And we'll see if that makes a difference. So I basically want one of those large... Ooh, what about one of these down here? Something that's... I don't think I've used this painting in my world before actually. It's not bad. Maybe we should try and re uh, replicate it on this side as well. And uh, we'll go back and take a look. You don't always want symmetry, but I think down here, um, where I am right now, makes kind of sense that I have each uh, side of the walls here symmetrical. So let's just clean this up a little bit. And I've got to replace this with stone uh, brick. Let's pick up all this stone. And how many do I have? I've got four. All going to be enough? It's going to be exactly enough. Awesome. Let's just place that and let's try and get the same painting on this side. So I was placing it there. See if I can do this without the um, paintings flying too far away. I didn't pick that up. Where did it go? Sometimes you get that visual glitch where you know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's not exactly where it said it, um, where it went. So let's go. I'm trying to forget. It's there. Alright, come on, give me the same painting. Oop. 
Sometimes, see, it's not even where I went to go pick it up. Where is it? There it is over there. Don't want that one. This gun is going to take longer than the next three, then I'll just uh, keep doing this till I can uh, make it the same. I won't bore you guys. Whoa! Don't really want that one. Don't want that one. And what are we going to get? Nothing. Nothing worthwhile. And again, alright, so I'm going to keep doing this until I can get the same painting. Finally! <laughs> My goodness, that took forever to try and get the same painting. But we've finally done it, now we've got the same painting on both sides, and I'm pretty happy. Let's see what it looks like when we come on through here. So, this is a common pathway that I take. I have to come down here to get all the drops from our mob farm. This is where we get all the items that fall down. They go into these chests. Looks like it's getting pretty full again. And, um, yeah, so I, I really want to uh, have something in this room besides just this enchantment room. And, uh, well, enchanting table area. And, uh, yeah, I think this is... This is going to work. Should do me over for a little while. I could probably do something with uh, the nether wart down the bottom here, maybe putting in some different types of flowers or crops or something down here, but I'm pretty happy with the way that it looks now. So we'll leave it like that, and um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So something else I thought I would show you guys is this little room that I've been uh, working on in our nether. This is like a little hub thing, and it's where we have our offshoots to go to our different places. So this portal takes us off to our treehouse or the large jungle tree and this is the the main path that takes us off to our guardian farm or the ocean monument um, well I shouldn't say ocean monument because there's nothing there now it's just the guardian farm and uh, yeah these other ones what ones go here so this portal takes us off to our blacksmith building this is taking us to our storage down at the wharf and this uh, track takes us all the way down to our main farming area in the nether itself so what I've been doing in here is, if you might you might have noticed it, this portal was two blocks wide and this is three blocks wide. So I've just fixed uh, this side of this room, just basically pushing it or one extra block in this direction. And um, I haven't done it yet to this side. So this is what it originally looked like. This is what I'm going to make it finally look like. So the room's kind of half off <laughs> uh, lopsided at the moment where this is a little bit wider than this side. And the reason why I'm making this wider is because I wanted to eventually put a pathway going in this direction. And it's very difficult to make a decent looking nether tunnel when it's only two blocks wide. You kind of need to make it a an odd number. And this is a perfect example of that where I've got a nether track, or <laughs> I shouldn't say nether track, I've got a, a minecart track running, running along the middle of um, this tunnel. And it's nice and odd on either side, so there's plenty of room for... Things like a horse, well, I'll eventually need to make this accessible for a horse. It eventually goes to only one block wide up here for the rest of the journey, but I'll fix that later. Um, but yeah, having it an odd number here it makes it a lot easier to work with than if it's even. And that's what I need to do. I need to make this uh, three blocks wide. I did test this side of the portal to make sure I can go okay, because the portal that it connects up with is only two blocks wide, and I was a little bit concerned that you might... Whoa! <laughs> like that, how you could suffocate. And that actually makes me worried, given that um, that pig zombie uh, started to suffocate there. kind of want to test pushing through a horse to make sure the horse won't do the same thing. I should probably test that now before I finish off that room. How you going, guy? Those legs go. <laughs> Is the, the parent going to come running through? It's always a gamble. Looks like we're clear. <laughs> Okay, so let's put that away, and what I'm going to do is just to go grab a horse. In fact, this is an easier way. Let's do this. Let's cruise on this way. I need to tidy up. There's so many things I need to do in my world. Endless list of things to do. Jump over these bunnies. <laughs> I don't know why I still keep them there, but that's where they are right now. And this is where... What did I open just then? Oh, open that. That was interesting. Who's got a saddle? Anyone got a saddle in here? You do. It's probably slow, is he? Perfect. Uh, won't be too annoyed if this guy has to be sacrificed for the greater good, so let's close that up and head on back. And let's see if we can push this guy through 
um, without him suffocating into the portal. So I think it's going to mainly be the problem going uh, backwards from the nether to the overworld. So let's just push this guy through first. Make sure that he gets through okay. Looks like he's in. And hopefully he hasn't suffocated on the other side. Gotta love that. Sometimes these portals do um, switch between each other. They do go to two different locations. This one, this one takes us to the blacksmith. I have to remember by which room is on which side. <laughs> So this one takes us to the blacksmith, and this one takes us to the wharf. So I don't think I can push him straight through, because I think there's a cooldown. Has he gone through? He has gone through. Okay. I thought there was some kind of cooldown on animals. Maybe I'm wrong. So hopefully this guy's at the blacksmith building. And he hasn't suffocated, so that's a good sign. Hmm. Interesting. I might leave you in the nether for now. Let's see if we can get off. Push him through again. You gonna go through? Now he's got to cool down. That's interesting. Hopefully that was just uh, me hitting my head rather than someone attacking me. Come on, you gonna go through? No. Well, that was very odd. Why well, it worked the first time and not that time. Anyway, let's leave the horse. Where should we put the horse? Let's just leave the horse down here. Uh, there is a couple of dark spots, so I do have to be a little bit careful because there is sometimes mobs that get into this room. I have spanned torches everywhere, so it should be um, reasonably safe for that guy. So let's head on through, and what we'll do is we'll make the other portal three blocks wide as well and finish off this room, and then hopefully <laughs> the portals continue to work. And this room is done. <laughs> How's that? Two for two with the transition. So, this room is now all complete. We've made it three blocks wide for these portals. So the room is extended a little bit in this direction. We'll have to be careful not to swing at that guy. Um, I did also make these borders for these other rooms uh, a little bit more like a portal itself. So I've got this uh, line of obsidian down the bottom here. I really like the way it kind of makes it look more like you're going into and out of a room. Um, this area here is a little bit more difficult because I go down because I've got a slab here. But I'm probably going to change this um, this hallway here or this tunnel because I want to make it uh, horse proof. <laughs> well, not horse proof, but I want to make it horse enabled where I can ride a horse along this area or along this tunnel. And at the moment, it's only this section that's three blocks wide. There is a couple others, but for the most part, it's only uh, a minecart track only. And as you can see, you still get a lot of these guys spawning uh, around the tracks and... Yeah, it's just not always the best thing for going along in a mic cart because once you hit one of these guys, you just turn around and start coming back the other way. So I've also started to just um, make a little a few changes to uh, this little section here where we'll have the mine cart. I need to change the way that we get into a mine cart just here. But I thought I'd show you just what I'm doing. So I'll just put a couple of paintings on this side and I want to repeat the same paintings on this opposite wall. And a little trick off I was using uh, to try and make it to only make a two by a painting rather than uh, one of the larger ones because of the space we have is you just put down a block so it can't go any further and then it typically will sometimes make a, a two by two painting rather than just the one by two so there we go so there's one now i need to do the same over here now is this guy going to cooperate and get out of the way Come on stop trying to hog tv time <laughs> get out of here Okay, so let's see if we can get the same painting again. Got a bad vibe already that this is going to take as long as the uh, the, the other the other painting that I was trying to put down. Hopefully not. One. Oh, I don't use that painting anywhere. Some paintings that I do like, there's others that I don't. I wish they added new paintings to the game. I wouldn't think it's that hard to <laughs> add in new paintings, but they never really did. Who knows, maybe in the future they will. There we go. Alright, so let's take these support blocks out. Go. Get out of here. I need to put down some fence. And this should tidy up this little entranceway. So there we go. That's uh, the kind of little tweaks and changes that I like to make around the place. And I think it looks pretty good. I should um, work on this particular nether tunnel. I think I'll do that next. I do have a few ideas. And do I have anything? Just going to check to see if I had some blocks on me or near me that I could experiment with just to wrap up things. And I don't. <laughs> Alright, you'll have to wait for the next episode for what I'm going to do with this particular tunnel. But uh, here we go. There's a few tweaks and changes around my world. 
if we guys like the episode let me know if you like the changes or if you really despise them who knows maybe you, you hate everything that i've done <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching cheers i was gonna swing at that guy but i'll resist <laughs>